And welcome. Just months after a shooting near a high school in Fairfield, police are taking a bold step to stop crimes near school campuses. The department is now giving up to $500 in exchange for information that someone might be carrying a gun on or near a campus. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. We first brought you this story yesterday, and tonight we're digging a little bit deeper, and we're asking how did this program start, and is it working? CBS 13's Lamore Abrams is getting answers for us tonight. She's live at Armio High School. Lamore. Adrian and Tony, the school here is working with the police department. They both say the program is a sure way to help reduce gun violence here. The announcement coming less than two months after a violent shooting that ended right here on school campus. I was walking on campus and here I hear the shots and bang, bang. A gun battle a block away from her high school. One of the suspected shooters taking cover inside the school gym. All of a sudden it's like locked down. If we get inside, and I was like, it's just so hectic. And I got like, crammed into a room with all these kids and we we're in there for hours. Nimi Maturu has seen the same shooting chaos unfold at schools across the country. But here at Armio High School, officials are now working with the Fairfield Police Department to cut down on crime with cash. $500 being offered to anyone with information about someone carrying a gun on or near campus. To empower the people around those people who might have weapons to say something. Think about that philosophy. You're paying someone to get guns off the street. Is that what it's come down to? Unfortunately, yes. Chuck Tim is Fairfield's vice mayor, but he spent the last three decades of his life as an officer for the city. And he was there when the department came up with the idea. I used to have a $100 bill. We had a lockbox in the sergeant's office. And if somebody was to give you information uh, about a firearm, and, and at the time, I'd go to the office and I'd get the 100 bucks out of the envelope and I'd go take it to them and give it to them. Police say they increased the reward to $500 due to inflation and to get more people talking. People call it snitching or you're ratting out somebody. I don't care what you call it because bullets aren't picky. Police say the program takes at least two guns off the street each year. Officials also say violent crime has dropped in recent years. They weren't able to provide numbers to back that up, but students say either way, too many guns are in the wrong hands. I hear about, I hear about kids like, oh yeah, I got a gun, I'm, I'm packing and all that stuff all the time. And police say anyone who sees a gun on or around their school is urged to call 911 immediately. Tony and Adrian, back to you. All right, Lamore, thanks. So we are back on Star Stormwatch.